position. Capture the objectives. Securing A. What's up, players? It's Jack from Tech Let's Plays here, and today I'm bringing you my Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer review of the game. Uh, now, I've got a few pros and cons that I'm going to talk about and then give you my overall thoughts on the game. And essentially, hopefully by the end, uh, you guys can decide if you wanted to buy the game or not if you're on the fence, or if you just wanted a view if you weren't quite sure in your own mind and need a bit of convincing to re-establish your views. Um, so I'm just going to go through the list in no particular order, I wrote down a few things, a few pointers. Um, so a lot of people were complaining about the fact that there is no new engine in Modern Warfare 3 and they're using the same recycled engine as Modern Warfare 2, which I think may also be the same engine as COD 4, but don't quote me on that. Um, and people were complaining about this and saying, oh, Battlefield 3 are using a new engine, they're going to completely, uh, they're going to be so much better. And uh, the reason why Battlefield 3 are making a new engine and the reason why Modern Warfare 3 didn't is because the Battlefield Bad Company 2 engine wasn't good enough and the Modern Warfare 2 engine was almost perfect. It is without doubt the best engine, game engine, for any first person shooter. It is so fluid, it is so smooth and so realistic that you know you don't change what is already good. You just don't do that unnecessary work and it's pointless. They have a great engine as, as is at the moment. Yeah obviously you could tweak some things but it's not, it's not really um, vital for one game release. Uh, I found the hit detection to be amazing, actually, surprisingly, on this game, considering the other connection issues, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, the hit detection on this game is really, really sound. Uh, I really do like it indeed. Especially when sniping, you notice it more often than uh, using regular guns. You just, um, when you quickscope in, I found myself uh, hitting some quickscopes that perhaps I thought in the back of my head that, yeah, you know what, I thought I, thought I was a little off with my shot there, but apparently not. So I think the hitbox is relatively large around the player. If not, it's the whole size of the player. Because in Black Ops, the hit detection was pretty poor in that game, so definitely good that uh, it's a lot better. Uh, the Modern Warfare 2 hit detection was actually pretty good, but... I think Modern Warfare 3 it has improved and it is slightly better. Uh, the weapon balance and perk balance and general balance of the uh, multiplayer is strong. Um, it's it's good, with a few exceptions that some guns really do stick out from the others, like the Type 95 for example. But if all the game guns were the same, essentially retextured the same guns, then the game would be very very boring. Having stronger and weaker guns is very important to make a fun game because you have the weaker guns for people that want the challenge and you have the stronger guns for people that want to get the big scores or for people that aren't too good at Call of Duty or first person shooters or they're new to it so they don't feel like, you know, they don't just die over and over they've got a go-to gun that is good and they can actually do well and enjoy the experience as well so the balance is strong and I think it will improve with continual support from Infinity Ward with patches and such um, and I really do think it can get better, but obviously you don't want everything exactly the same because it'll be boring. So I think it's good. They've done well. Uh, perk balance is a little iffy. I think Blind Eye and Assassin together, uh, that's a bit of a strong combination to be fair. Uh, but who knows, haven't seen it being abused too much yet, but um, haven't run into it too much because obviously it's only a week after the release. Uh, the spawn system is by far the worst spawn system of a Call of Duty game uh, from COD 4 to now. It is ridiculously bad. Um, you find yourself getting spawned, you know, round a corner from an enemy and when you spawn in and you die straight away, I mean, say you die and you take a drink because you're dead and you're, what, you let the kill cam run through and you take a drink and then you spawn in and when you look back from having your drink, you're on a kill cam again, you're like, wait a second, this can easily happen because the spawn system is so bad, it spawns you so close to the teammates and I think the reason, one reason, not the whole reason, one reason is because the map size is slightly too small. I think on average all the maps are slightly uh, too small and hopefully the DLCs that they release, hopefully they'll bring some medium to large maps in because we are missing that and we're missing sort of the odd wasteland wasteland or afghan map that is really big and really good for airsport at the moment we're not really getting that we're just getting small maps and uh... yeah i'll talk about airsport in a minute but while we're talking about maps 
Uh, they're really colourful, really bright. And um, this, for me, Black Ops failed as a game because it is so dull and so boring that they almost set themselves up for a loss before they, before you even played the game. It would pan in from Summit and it would be this grey, white, boring piece of crap. And I've often said that it looks like Black Ops tried to um, incorporate the most shades of grey and white than any other video game. Um, it was literally ridiculous and made it boring and depressing to play. Um, so yeah, I think they are a little too small the maps, which obviously puts strain on the uh, spawn system, and uh, yeah. Matchmaking is pretty poor, but I expect this to become better in future patches, with future patches I should say. Uh, it's pretty bad, um, but bearable. You will get in into a game eventually, and I think Woody's Gamertag said something that I agreed with, uh, like bring back the local only uh, matchmaking thing, because this game gets so many sales that there is gonna be someone in your local area playing it that you can connect to and you'll get a much more lag free game than if you connect to someone from a different country or continent so local only feature need to bring it back guys um, the new features like kill confirm, team defender, weapon efficiency, strike packages all very good and all are definitely a refreshing sight to see I'll go through each one and talk about uh, them a little bit Kill Confirmed is actually becoming uh, a lot of people's favourite um, game type. It is really, really fun, and uh, it's generally a nice new take on TDM, as is Team Defender, which is okay. I can find... I only really play that when I've got a full party, because you find uh, other guys, you know, they're pretty bad, the randoms. But you can really have a lot of fun when um, you're in a full party because everyone's rushing around getting the flag and screaming and everybody's panicking and everything. Uh, so it really is very fun. Uh, all the new features really do like it. The strike packages, um, they're good, but as a whole the assault package is pretty awful. The air support, uh, you've gone from the other extreme. Uh, in Modern Warfare 2 all the air support was extremely good and now they're all pretty bad to be honest. They'll get you sort of two, three, four kills with the exception of the like two kill streaks like the Moab, but that only gets you six. Um and the AC one thirty gets you a few more. But yeah, generally all explosives in the game are a lot, lot uh less powerful than in Modern Warfare 2. Um overall I think it's a very, very fun game, fast paced and high replay value. I can see myself playing this game uh, definitely seven months down the line, eight months down the line. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching this multiplayer review. If you could please hit the like button, add this video to your favourites because that really helps more people find this video and see it, which will really help my channel grow, so thank you very much. Uh, if you want to see more Modern Warfare 3 content, hit the subscribe button at the top, and thank you for watching this multiplayer.